progress is being made. We got one wall, we got two walls as you can see. Uh, we actually added another wall since we ended the last vlog. We actually continued doing a little bit more work, put that wall together, and now we have not just one wall, but we got two walls. Anyway, good morning, Saks family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. You got some on your face, and you're ready for a brand new video. Today is day two of the construction series here in McJarger Nuggets basement. Uh, as you guys know, we're actually trying to finish the basement, add some bedrooms down here, kitchen, Bedroom, well I already said bedrooms, but bathroom, laundry room, a casino, a bar, you name it. I mean, there's already a movie theater, which Jesse and Nick did last year. And uh, now it's time to finish out the rest of the basement. So this is gonna be fun. I'm kind of waiting on Nick. He's busy actually editing, doing some stuff for Jesse, as in like his TikToks and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm gonna end up moving this. This needs to get moved. All this right here actually needs to get cleaned off because I think today, when Nick is good, we're going to actually continue framing out maybe the rest of this wall. And once that's done, start putting walls in between here, uh, right where that dividing line is. So this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to actually get this all cleaned off and uh, figure out where to put all this stuff. If you want to wish us luck on this project, all you got to do is drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on all notifications because construction is new for me. I've never really built, built much. Uh, I had a class in high school where it was like home improvement and kind taught me a little bit of things. Um, thank God we still had some shop cl classes back then. But other than that, I don't have much construction knowledge. I have a more knowledge in destruction as you guys have seen in the last video. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that stuff moved now and I'll update you guys in a second. And just like that, this whole entire shelf is now cleared out. I don't know if they wanna keep this or if they want it like to be broken down. So I'm probably just gonna end up sliding this out towards that direction so we have this whole entire wall open up. I do need to find a ladder though um, so I could take this down. If you guys remember when we were doing the house hunting series and we looked at this house itself, this used to have fishing poles lined across, which is why that's like that. But obviously, we don't need that anymore. So that's gotta come down, we gotta unscrew it. And uh, yeah, it's so much to be done and I don't know what Nick is doing. Nick, hurry up, we gotta get, we gotta get going, it's already, 6.30, 8, and we had like a small window because Nick says we're not doing construction past 9 p.m. So, come on, Nick. We gotta get work done. We gotta move. We gotta go. We gotta get this stuff going. We need we need rooms. I'm tired of sleeping in that little closet upstairs. Um, so the faster we work, the faster we get done, and the more we get done. And just like that, it's away from the wall, but it's right here. I ran into an issue, which is not good. It actually looks like I'm gonna have to take this apart because it was almost hitting the lights and also now it's in the way of the HVAC system. So honestly, this could probably get taken apart. We could probably use some of this extra wood for whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to work. What are you doing? You have the foreman, bro. Yeah, well, this needs to get done per Jesse. Cause, per Jesse? Oh, because you need a room? Yeah, well, basically. You. Well, I'm Nick, sorry. Nick, uh, we got to actually take this apart because it, yeah. You know where this used to be? On the wall? Where the theater was. And why? How did it get moved here? We moved it. Well, now we're taking it apart. Yeah, watch. No, no. Right. watch out. You're gonna hit the light and then we're gonna break the light. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow, right on cue. Yeah, I guess you heard loud noises. A little bit. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong uh, thing. So, we gotta take this apart, get rid of this, and then uh, we're gonna have all this open space, and then we can start more framing today. How's that sound? What are you doing? Are you just gonna break it or? No, well, we'll find out in a second. Nick just likes to randomly hit things. Actually, I'm gonna move back, because I got hit in the face yesterday. So, I don't want to get hit in the face at all again. Um, yeah, by the way, we're not professionals whatsoever. We are amateurs, mainly I'm an amateur, Nick's an amateur with experience. So, this is gonna be fun today. I need, um, drill bit. A drill bit? Didn't you have one? Ah, oh, shoot. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of this. I mean, yo, there's something we're actually missing, and that is the sledgehammer. We had a sledgehammer down here, and we went to go find it yesterday when we went to break everything else apart. There was no sledgehammer, which is kind of part of the reason why I got hurt, because I'm a dummy, but uh, this sucks. We, uh, 
We gotta get rid of this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just pick the vlog up when we get rid of it. All right, we're making progress. Nick is actually unscrewing everything here. Yeah, you yeah. So. You see something cool, bro? Yeah. What's that? Huh? What's that? Yeah. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Maybe. Oh, well, I don't want to hear that because, uh, there's no, like, OJI here. No, on. Oh my gosh, Nick! Jesus! That was cool, right? They call me Destructo, not you! Bro! Yo, Jeffrey lives up there! We gotta be quiet! Okay. How about, how about this? Watch. Oh my gosh! How about you just take a hammer and wh where's... Let me see this. Ugh. Ready? Just... That's not nah, that's, that's definitely not gonna work. Or how about this? Okay. Just let Nick do his thing. Oh yeah, it's about to snap. Hold on. Hold on, let me... Hold on, just keep it like that. Let me... Alright, now you try. Honestly, if you just unscrew that bottom, it would probably be a lot better. And you're hitting the light pole. And this is, guys, how things... Oh my gosh! Huh? I got a camera in my hand, dude. What do you need me to do? Hold on, you're on, th you're on that thing up there. It's the fishing rod thing, dude. Oh, they're still on. Yeah, I, I haven't got a ladder to take them down yet. Okay, you, oh dude, you're hit, hitting the lights! Oh my gosh. This is why we can never have anything new in this house. Update, we uh, we broke those to get this. Oh, you know. And I, I thought things aren't supposed to pancake like that. Uh, they're both wrong. <laughs> well, now that's working. Actually, there we go. Alright, I, I kind of see what we need to do. We're gonna move this! To the junk area. Got a little update right now. Nick's in the back actually removing the electrical socket. We'll lift those up right now because they're kind of flush, obviously, to that wall. But when we run electrical in here, we want them to be flush with the new wall. So for now, all we're doing is just taking this up and pushing that out. So This is not the most safest way to do it. You didn't kill the power? Nope. Oh, are you trying to get yourself electrocuted today, yeah, dude? I'll be fine. I'm just going to that hang. But here's a little update now. As you guys can tell, all that stuff that was there is gone. The floor is a lot more clearer now. And uh, yeah, it's coming along, along nicely. Do you think, what, we could probably frame all the way around to there at least today, right? Because what, is it nine pieces of, I counted before, nine two by fours per wall, or at least a little framed. So probably be messing with like 30 two by fours tonight. But I mean, if we can frame, from here out to there, and then also get it onto the wall with that nail thing. Uh, can't do that tonight because I didn't get the vibe level. Uh, you didn't get the level yet. All right, so gonna Nick's gonna probably have a vlog of him going to Home Depot or Lowe's and getting that equipment we're as well. Lowe's family here. Oh, we're a Lowe's family here. Yeah. See, like we have a Home Depot in my town, and it's like convenient because it's literally a two-minute drive for me. Sure, a, you know, Jesse made sure we only buy from Lowe's. Only. Only Lowe's. Hey, do they got stock so I can buy their, their stock if we're buying it then? I mean, that might ha happen. But uh, since we have the open space, we're going to actually start taking the 2x4s here, framing out the walls, prefabbing them, and then uh, lining everything up. So this is going to be fun. Guys, also, if I don't have any updates on my channel about this, make sure you are subscribed to Regenis because he's going to be having content on this project come out as well. So, hey, if there's a new update and it's not from me, you'll get new updates from Nick as well. But I want to help Nick. We're going to start constructing um, some frames. Yeah, I need to find that screw bit. There it is. So right now, Nick is actually marking out every 16 inches, because that's what code? Mm, that's like standard, yeah. So that's standard for uh, the frames in general, for all 2x4s to go in between. So what we have here right now is a box, and it's going to look like that. Alright, here we go. Almost done boxing out this whole entire frame. Normally people screw or hammer this in. We figured it'd be better just to actually screw it in. So Nick right now is working on that to finish up the boxing of this. We got the two screws there, two I'm screws there. Screws, yeah, honestly, it's so much more quicker, convenient, especially for down here in the basement. 
Uh, it makes scenes move a lot quicker and efficient, yeah, honestly. A lot stronger. Yeah. Because, I feel like nails can pop out. Oh yeah, nails can pop out, but also like you're using a machine to screw it in. So it's a lot faster, a lot easier. Remember, we're not professionals here when it comes to constructions. We're, we're YouTubers, basically. And uh, yeah, so this is the last one here Nick needs to do. And then uh, we have another wall basically completed. Well. Another frame or box, whatever you want to call it, for the wall this completed. Is, wall. This is, is frame, it? Frame. It's a framed wall. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Nick, yeah, so Nick, Nick has it screwed in. He's got one last one to go, yep. and then we're gonna take this, put this up on the wall, and we're gonna be good to go. Yeah. Twist it. What's that? Uh, I got a fire pole, but I'm kind of an hour and a half away, so. All right, so there we go. We have that. Real quick, while Nick does that, I'm going to help him get this into the position of where we're going to put it on the wall. Uh, slide down that one, All right? All oh. oh, yeah, this is going to fit perfectly. Yeah, basically. Cool. Making rock Chris as Nick almost trips himself right there. All right. All right, cool. So then, for an and narrow one, we're going to have to hide that junction box there. And then from there, we're making progress. I think so. now. You think we, hold on, let me give you the ladder. Here, here Nicholas. Use this, climb the ladder. Now you pretend like I'm in WWE here. Oh, you just, that's not gonna work. I mean, for now, I'll hold it. Well, yeah, it's gonna hold up I'm there. I'm gonna get rid of it, it's not gonna be like that. So one thing me and Nick were talking about is we're deciding not to get rid of these little fishing pole things. Uh, what was the reasoning behind that, Nick? Well, Really, the the um, drop ceiling is going to be lower because we're doing drop ceiling. And fun fact, Swift, do you know why you do drop ceiling instead of a... Uh, she rock? She rock. Probably because it's easier to replace and fix things in here? Yeah, you're in a basement, so you know, things go wrong. It's a basement. You want to be able to get in that, that drop ceiling and fix some stuff. Fix whatever you need to fix. Well, when it gets messed up, you got to hop in that drop ceiling. You or the HVAC gets messed HVAC, up. HVAC, anything. So, yeah, that's a good call on that right there. Yeah. So, Drop ceiling, so that's staying up, even though it's kind of broken in some spots, but... It is what it is, right? Nobody's going to need that anyway. Nobody. Who will know? Who? Well, besides the vlog, who, nobody's going to know. Um, it's like that, that, uh, that TikTok meme? TikTok meme. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's a little update right here right now. I think we're going to get... Maybe another wall. Yeah, and, yeah we're going to get another wall done. Um, basically, they call Nick, Nick the Builder. I'm Swift the Builder. We don't have a Bob the Builder, though. But Nick, can you fix it? Yes, we can act like we can. All right, well, yeah, act like we can actually build it. And just like that, another wall is about to be done. So Nick and I came up with a system to where I would grab the wood, I start putting everything like in the, like the order, and then he just went through, make the marks, whatever. And I drop screws, he goes in, screws it, and then we put up the wall. So I would say, what, it's equal work in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. Because and we're both- gonna need you to screw again. Oh shoot, me with the screw? Alright, here we go. Guys, remember, I am not a professional. You ready? I am, wait, wait. I'm ready. Alright, you ready? Here we yep. go, screwing. Oh, is that good? Yeah, it's good. Top right, one too. This top one here? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. Awesome, boom. Now we're one down. So we got this final side here, and then uh, this wall will be done. And then what? We got, yeah, then we're gonna have to work on a small frame. And then start this wall. So we're moving along pretty swiftly, as I would say. Um, our one idea plan where Nick would focus primarily on the screwing, and I just get stuff set up, giving them as needed, and it just kind of keeps the flow going. And then also allows me to vlog at the same time. So yes, while Nick is the one screwing things together, I am also helping placing things to help him get it together. So it works out in the end. I'm happy. Nick and I are moving along quickly, and uh, yes. Yeah, coming out nice. If you guys want, uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you have any tips, if like you're actually somebody that's in construction, if you have any tips, let me know down below, by the way, in the comment section. Because this is all new to me. Like I said, I do destruction, not construction. Uh, but it looks like the majority of the destruction is basically over. And it's legit time for construction. Got this little corner done here. Uh, Nick measured, cut it perfect. What's well, the same? Measure twice, cut once, right? Yeah. So we did that. Also, if anything looks bad, 
It's back on paint, make it what it ain't. That's true. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the whole entire side is completed now. Uh, the next thing we're gonna have to do here is get the thing and put the 45s in, but we need the level first, which might be something we're doing tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, yeah. but uh, basically the wall is in, besides not being fastened to the concrete yet. So we're making plenty, plenty of um, progress. Yeah, you want to get this wall knocked out? I mean, with how we're going so far. The only thing we're gonna have to do is literally box it out for the uh, HVAC right there. So how about we get Tippy down here and uh, Tony have them come clean this up for us while we start framing. You know they ain't coming down here. That's true. So <laughs> it looks like it's just me and Nick. Miguel, I don't know what Miguel is doing, but yeah, we're gonna probably get this wall done here as well. And then we'll have basically the core base basically done right here. So we're making progress. We're moving pretty quick. Are you supposed to be doing this, Nick? You know, sometimes you only live once, bro. Well, what if you get electrocuted? I'm hoping I don't. Well, if you do, just, you know, definitely fall on the floor if you're electrocuted, okay? Yeah. Are you, do you need help? Oh my gosh. This is not OSHA approved at all. Gosha. OSHA. That's a song, Gosha? No, OSHA. G-O-S-H-A. No, OSHA, Nick. Oh, I don't know who that is. I never met him. O OSHA is like, uh, you know, you never heard of OSHA or P-OSHA? No. Base TikTok knows I used to drive a YouTube. Without a license. You don't need a license. I thought to drive a forklift. Oh, well, yeah. Like, well, like like a forklift license, right? Or no? No, that you shouldn't. Oh, well, unless you're working at Lowe's or Home Depot. Other than that, I mean, we got the walls in, kinda, so it's looking good. Dude, honestly, I'm starting to see it now. I'm starting to actually see everything. It actually looks bigger like this, doesn't it? Do yeah. Now you can kind of actually see the room size here too. Got a wall right here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. dude, we're, we're moving pretty quick. I, I'm actually very happy. I think, uh, I'd FaceTime Jesse, but I know he's got a lot going on right now. Guys, if you haven't heard, um, there's been a lot of sad things happening. Uh, Uncle Chris unfortunately passed away, and so did his grandmother. So if you guys, you guys probably already know, but do me a favor, just go tweet him a nice message on Twitter, or, you know, leave him something nice in the social feed. Tip and Blaze over on Storyfire. Uh, just send him some love right now, because I know he needs it. And really, I don't want to bother him on FaceTime, or I'd be FaceTiming him right now, like, yo, bro, look at all this, we're making progress. And then he'd probably be like, wait, what are you guys doing to my house? But anyways, we're going to continue, and uh, I'll let you guys know what we're doing next. Okay, so update, this wall is in. All that is in, as you guys have seen. We uh, kind of started looking around, seeing what this room's going to look like, if this is going to be my room or whatever. Uh, obviously, that's not going to be my wall room. That's going to be like the smallest room here. But that right there is going to be probably the second biggest room. Not sure yet, but Nick just finished constructing this final uh, wall, which is going to go in the middle right now. We just kind of want to see if it actually, like, what the size of the room is going to look like. I accidentally uh, turned my camera off. Do you need help at all here? Nope. All right, so the wall is basically going in. What's this going to look like? Oh, he's got a screw underneath. But... Oh, we're getting progress. Getting progress. Oh. Oh, wow. This actually feels like a... Wow, this space feels a lot bigger than I thought it would here. Yeah, I'm about to screw in there just to hold it. Yeah, oh, dude, that... I don't know. This this feels a lot bigger than we thought it would be. Like... I feel pretty good. I, you're popping that one screw in real quick. Just to hold it. Just to Honestly, hold it. Nick, if you think about it, this... This might be the big room, dude. I, dude, if it is, like, I'm gonna build the ultimate stream setup, whatever, that Nick's gonna do all the wire management for, which is gonna be fun. Um, yeah. This is coming out nice. This actually, I, I was gonna be like, all right, yo, let's build the second wall here, but we know this is actually gonna have to be kind of dropped down because of the H track there. All right, just, just to hold it, there we go. Wow, dude, this, this looks nice. This, now, right? and you come over here, like, all right, so this is obviously going to be the smallest room on this side here. Yeah, but it's good. you know, honestly, personally, me, like, I've, I've never lived in big rooms. I've always, oh, I've, I've always kind of been lucky enough to have been. Yeah, so this is, I mean, this isn't even bad for me. But, like, even say, like, uh, I don't know, like, somebody new comes here, at least they'll have their own little space, right? Like, let's say it's not a streamer. That, like, this is obviously not going to be a streamer's room because of the size. Be, though. Yeah, so I mean, see if, if it was me, I could fit stuff in here because the door the door is going to be right here, right? Yeah. You could technically fit a whole desk right here if you wanted to and have a whole bed and well, a dresser well, and a TV. You think 
We can cut off, uh, I don't know. Because it's going to be back to here. Yeah. Back here much. Some space there. Yeah. Because then we figured out, because we have to keep this open somehow for access, so we were thinking a little, once this gets finished, we're going to frame this out first, finish the fab there, and then uh, you know, there's going to be a little door here for access you know, to have, get in and they out. They have the smallest room, but they got a window. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They got so a window. that means anything to them. Yeah, at least they get daylight. That's the perfect thing. The thing that I like, like either room that I get, I'm not going to have to put any curtains up because I'm not going to have to deal with uh, the sun coming up. I can just sleep at like 1 in the afternoon and be like 1 in the morning. So typically when I'm up. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode today of the construction series here in McJargan Nuggets house. Nick, you killed it. You want my blood? Oh, oh. was that actually your bloody hand? No. All right, good. So that's going to wrap it up for another day here in the basement. As you guys can see, progress is being made. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I know you're, you're happy with this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. Subscribe to Regenis in case I don't have any updates. Nick will have updates on his end. And uh, yeah, until next time, it's been your boy Jeff. Keep it real. I'm going to log out on the peace out and well. Peace.